Amos Dudley is a 24-year-old uh, design student at the New Jersey Institute of Technology, and he found himself in need of braces, but couldn't really afford to have it done. I mean, when you look at the prices of products like Invisalign, it could be up to $8,000, which is not affordable for many people. Uh, and he decided to take his dental health into his own hands. He designed his own braces for about $60, and he made it, it was, well, he, he got the idea from looking at, like, trays like Invisalign and noticing a striation, and he designed them, 3D printed them, um, and created pretty much an invention that did fix his teeth. Yeah. So that looks almost like something you could well, find. I mean, yeah, it looks exactly from, like Invisalign. Yeah. Um, so he did not consult any orthodontical or dental professionals on this. No, he did not. Uh, he did it on his own, and he used his skills in animation to do the in-between phases, but also consulting books and his own uh, research to determine how, how much a tooth can move in one turn, and it, it looks really good. It does raise some questions, though, which is, should you be doing this? and uh, Or, you know, should you not be doing this? Because you, you do think, like, when we look at health care and dental care, a lot of times they're un unaffordable and out of reach a little bit, mm -hmm. even. <coughs> but um, people, I mean, we, we look at people modding their own bodies, which may or may not count as amateur surgery, and therein have uh, potential for health problems and infections. This is a little different, though. I understand his reasoning behind it, and mm -hmm. obviously he had the skills to do what he needed to do, and he figured out a way to do it without... Breaking least, his teeth off. Breaking his teeth off, theoretically <laughs> harming himself, at least, that he knows of now. But I will yeah. say that when reading this article, I was disappointed that it wasn't some crazy contraption that fixed his teeth. Because I read the article and I was like, braces. DIY braces. I wanted like this He's huge a design thing. students. Like, like I wanted like this giant something. headdress that like pried his teeth apart and like fixed them or like a robot or something. Mm -hmm. I wanted something sensational to fix his teeth, not just I made my own Invisalign. Yeah. You know. I feel like there was there was a clickbait with the title yeah, there. Yeah, I felt yeah. I felt a little lied Well, you too. can blame the Huffington Post for this, which is where it originally Huffington appeared Post. and where he did Huff tell Post. how he made this <laughs> in particular. Hufflepuffs are good people. Um, <laughs> He's dating Hufflepuff. Where he was talking about uh, how how he thought of doing this in the first place and no, he did not seek help on this. Uh, it is it is interesting to see that we do have the technology if we have the know-how, which I think is the yeah, X but, factor yeah. here of to creating whatever we could possibly need, you know, uh, on our own. Whatever pieces, whatever accoutrements, uh, whatever accessories we could possibly need to, you know, improve our lives. Yeah. But yeah, orthodontics in, in general, like braces, the metal braces and, and visualize like that is, I think it's a highly overpriced thing. But it's also highly specialized. It's, it, well, so, it, is, it is highly specialized, but I mean, the amount of, you know, being a, a child of the 80s and the time when I had braces and everything, it was uh, the amount of pressure that was on kids and parents to fix their teeth using full braces. Mm -hmm. You know, there was there was other ways to do it. There was retainers and stuff like that still available and stuff like that. But like the that's full still braces, available now. Exactly, everything is still available. But like orthodontists, I even remember thinking like this is crazy because I didn't want them. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were like, well, we'll just do the metal retainer and you'll just wear it. You know, every night you go to sleep, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And the, the orthodontist was very like, no, you need this. You mm -hmm. need these things. So I've always, I've, that always put a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. I, oh, very oh, cute. God. Sorry. Uh, about, about that. So if, if, I think hopefully my hope for this is that people don't go out and start doing it, but that well, companies and people start seeing, wait, he made them, they work, and they were $60. Why ah. am I paying $8,000? Let's start adjusting the prices to make things affordable for everyone, yeah. but also realistic for a consumer-based market. I like, see. So yeah. you're looking at this kind of in a way of Cons economics, which yeah. is like if somebody wants a thousand dollars for a cell phone and somebody builds a cell phone for twenty dollars, they're going to be like breaking up the dental monopoly. Yeah, that was a, those <laughs> dental monopolies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean that's exactly what it is. Like I remember, I, I mean, I had an orthodontist. I had braces when I was a kid. And yeah. My orthodontist was a scary, scary man who I'm pretty sure just enjoyed inflicting pain on children. <laughs> but I understand the importance and the highly specialized training that orthodontists go through, and I mean mm -hmm. they have a very specific set of skills, and um, yes. they <laughs> they don't have a lot of money. Oh wait, they do. But they have a specific set but of skills. But I get that. Like yes, I would not recommend being like make your own braces however you can, but. It does raise some questions about why it is the cost. Yeah, it is. If he was able to do it, WebMD should not 
add an orthodontic section. No. Actually, they probably already do, let's be honest. My tooth fell out. What happened? Your tooth was bad. <laughs> Your tooth was bad. <laughs> you have lupus. If we look at this particular example, I mean, mm. he does have some applicable skills, such as True. 3D modeling, 3D uh, uh, animation, molding. Not everyone has this, so I wouldn't recommend it for most people even, mm -hmm. it, you, you do stand as a reason like what you do to your own body is your own choice. True. But from a medical position, it's probably really unwise. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I was saying before. Is he, obviously, he had the skills he needed to do what mm -hmm. he ended up accomplishing doing. But the problem with that is, is that also if people who don't have those skills watch that and be like, I can totally do that. And then, <laughs> then they just destroy their teeth. <laughs> It's like anybody who ever watches an action film and goes, that's done, I can totally do that, and then they jump off a cliff and die. Oh, God. Like, it's like, it's just, yeah. it's, it Practice sets a dangerous caution. precedent for people who think they can do things they can't. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not even like you can go online and download the blueprints to this, yeah. because that's for his mouth, yes. everyone. Don't oh my do God. that. And even imagine? if you use it, you're not going to get his teeth, so. Yeah. Yeah, oh God, I don't right. know. It's, it's iffy, though I do appreciate the innovation behind this and the disruptive power that you mentioned yeah. in affecting uh, the <laughs> dental, dental industry. Come on now. Uh, audience, would you make your own braces? Let's say you have the skill set you are currently have. Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.